This is Jeff Mackinnon at DRF Sports. In this video, I'll be handicapping the AFC Divisional Playoff matchup between the AFC South champions, fourth seeded Houston, and the AFC West champions, the second seeded Kansas City Chiefs, which will take place on Sunday at 2.05 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be utilizing the DRF Sports Matchup Tool, which is included as part of your DRF Sports subscription. This matchup tool contains everything you need to win during this football playoff season, along with basketball, NBA and basketball, college basketball, NHL, and the upcoming college football championship game, which will take place on Monday night. Log in today at sports.drf.com today and start your subscription for just $5. Kansas City in this game, currently a 9.5 point favorite with an over-under of 51. The line has moved from Kansas City minus nine and an over under 48 and a half. So it has moved up significantly two and a half points to the over here, moving up from 48 and a half to 51. As I usually do, I'll look at our rating systems first. Game simulator estimate number one projects Kansas City to win 27 to 21. This represents three and a half points of value to the Texans and three points to the under. Uh, 27-22 is our projection in estimate number two. Again, four and a half points to the Texans of line value here. And the under for two. The power line does tell you a little bit different story as it is projecting Kansas City to be a 14-point favorite in this game. So four and a half points of line value to the Chiefs. Looking at the consensus amongst these three ratings, the line will be a roughly eight, a little, eight, little over eight. So... Not much of a value here either way on the line, although this line does to be seem to be a little bit inflated to the Chiefs, partly because they are the getting the bye week, which has been a large advantage in the divisional round of the playoffs. Looking at the team statistics between these two opponents, Houston actually enters this game still with a negative point differential, negative point three and a negative yardage differential, both in yards per play and yards per game. So not a very impressive resume statistically for the Texans here. And to be perfectly honest, they were quite lucky to pull that comeback victory out last week against Buffalo. Buffalo had them beat through three quarters of the game, but the Texans, with their dynamic quarterback Deshaun Watson, did rally to pull that one out and advance to the next round. Kansas City has been on a roll lately, but overall on the season has done quite well. 6.4 yards per play versus 5.6 allowed. They are outscoring, outscoring their opponents by nine points a game, and they have a plus eight turnover differential. There are some interesting trends that pop up here that are really positive for Kansas City. After two consecutive wins against the spread, Andy Reid is 26 and 13 against the spread. In addition, against AFC, AFC opponents, the Chiefs are 18-8 and eight over the last two years. So they've been getting it done against conference foes. They're 7-1 and one against the spread versus teams who pass the ball for 61% or better completion percentage in the second half of the year this year. So part of that goes to the fact that the Chiefs have been covering the spread. They're on quite a roll, but they have matched up with opponents who pass the ball well lately. On the other side, not a good matchup here for the Houston Texans against excellent offensive teams, which we categorize as 375 or more yards per game in the history of the franchise. In the second half of the season, they're just 8 and 20 against the spread. And Bill O'Brien, just 2 and 9 against the spread versus teams who score 27 or more points a game in the second half of the season. In that case, they've been outscored by an average of 14 to 24.4. So from a matchup perspective, there are some key trends that do favor the Chiefs here. Looking at the betting action, 52% of the wagers are on Houston, 48 Kansas City, very split there. 72% take the over, which has pushed, that public action has pushed the line up from 48 and a half to 51 on the total. Looking at the schedules, Kansas City, as I mentioned, coming in here on a roll. They've covered six straight and won six straight. Defensively, they've been playing really well. 
21 points allowed to the Chargers was the most they have allowed during that streak. In fact, three games where they held their opponents under 10 points, three, three, and nine here. So the Chiefs, who are well known for Patrick Mahomes and their explosive offense, have actually been getting it done defensively as well, which really makes a very dangerous combination as they move forward here in the AFC playoffs. Texans in off their win over Buffalo uh, last week, 22 to 19 in overtime. These teams did match up back on October 13th, which is a game of note in that the Texans won that game 31 to 24, in which they rallied from 10 points down in the fourth quarter to, to pull that one out again with the magic of Deshaun Watson. However, one thing to note here is the Texans did outrush the Chiefs in that game 192 to 53. So they really controlled the line of scrimmage. And the Texans, who are not known for being a great running team this year since they lost Lamar Miller early in the season uh, in, back at training camp, that was one of their shining moments in terms of running the football. So something to watch out for as, as we take a look at this matchup. Looking at this game overall, Kansas City has been playing outstanding football. They seem to have all the right pieces in place for a run to a Super Bowl championship with the emergence of Patrick Mahomes and the outstanding play of the defense in recent weeks. So the Chiefs look to be a strong contender. This is a high line at nine and a half. It's a, it's a little bit higher than you would normally see it in a regular season game. However, I do think the Chiefs are going to find a way here to, to win and cover the spread. Uh, so I would recommend taking the Chiefs at minus nine and a half. Thanks for watching. This is Jeff Mackinnon at DRF Sports, Twitter handle at SportsDBExpert. Best of luck Sunday afternoon.